Hello, 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 hello. Happy Monday, happy Monday. I trust that everyone is doing well. It is seven o'clock. It is the 20th. It is the 20th of September, 2021. Let us invite our leaders. Let us invite, let us invite, let us invite. Hello, hello, my leaders. Welcome, welcome. Good morning. Uh, please say hello. You know the drill. You say hello uh, so that we know uh, who is here. Say hello and tell us where you are from. And while to do that, please send the link to the respective groups. I'm also doing that now. Let's please send the link to the respective groups that you are in. I'm also sending them. Let's send my leaders. Let's send hello, 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 hello. Hello, leader Tozama. Hello, leader Ese Abasi. Uh, please tell us where are you from? Hello, leader Amatimi. I haven't seen you in a while. Welcome. <laughs> welcome, welcome. And we say good morning, right? As it's always morning. Right now it's 19.02, so we start at 19.05. So let us please uh, send, 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 send. Send the link to all of our business partners, to our... Everybody who has eyes. <laughs> Last time I was talking about the kidneys, and I said, anyone who's got a kidney has to be here. So, yeah, those who have eyes, please <laughs> send them the link. This means everybody needs to be here, basically. Lida Katie, hello, you from South Africa, welcome. Lida Esi, Esi Abasi, you from Nigeria, welcome, welcome. Welcome. Lida Amatimin, uh, I forgot where you're from. Where are you from, leadership? We are starting in two minutes, it's now 19.03. It is now 19.03, training is about to start. How is everyone? We are what? It's the 20th of September. So a few more days to go and then we'll be in October. Ah, from Nigeria, Lida Amatimin, welcome, welcome. Let's send the links. Let's send the links. Let me just see if I send it to all the groups that I'm in. Ah, I forgot to send it to to one group. Let's see. Okay, let me send quickly. Let's send my leaders. Good morning, Mr. Allen. Mr. Richards. You are from Charlotte, North Carolina, USA. All right, today now you're saying exactly where in the USA. I just know that you're from the US, but not sure where. <laughs> hey, Kia, how my friend? Can you are here? <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> my partner is cr in crime is here, ladies and gents. It's going to be lit. One minute to go. We're starting. Lida Mabatu, Welcome. Welcome. What? Una, una olap. Una olapo. I hope I'm saying it right, leadership. Welcome, leader Una olapo. Una linna. I actually thought it's Una linna. And then I'm like, no, nah, that's not Una linna. <laughs> Welcome, everyone. We have our pens, right? Hey, we've got our pens, right? We have our pens. We've got our everything. There's a lot of information, as usual. But I'm going to try to cut it short. You know, cut, cut, cut. I'm so tired from Saturday, you know, the presentation that we did in, on Saturday. Welcome, Leader John. You're following from Zambia. Welcome, leadership. Thank you so much for joining. All right, it's five past seven. Let me start. Ah, the class is very full. The class is very full. So, my leaders, it is Retina. It's World Retina uh, Awareness Week. So, worldwide, this thing is not just for South Africa, you know. Hi, Lida Safira. Welcome, welcome. You from Zambia. Oh, I love that so many people, so many leaders from different countries are here. So it is a World Retina Week. 
that you know me, for those who have been attending my trainings, I, 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 will, I, I, will, I will make it 80 to 90% about it, and then I will touch on other things, right? Yes, Lida, let's go. All right, let's start. All right, um, around quarter to 10 to, then I will give the floor over to you. So for now, class is in session. We don't ask any questions. Maybe you can comment, but for now, class is in session. So Retina, I'm reading from a website, Retina South Africa. Retina, remember it's the eyes. So World Retina Week is from the 20th, which is today, until the 26th of September, 2021. And they ask, do you love your eyes? <laughs> I think we all love our eyes, right? Do you love your eyes? So du during World Retina Week, Retina South Africa would like to encourage South Africans who love their eyes. So it's obviously not just South Africans worldwide, okay? Um, to take an active role in caring, caring for their vision. There are 10 easy steps that people can take to preserve their precious sight, all right? 10 easy steps. Let's start with step one. Obviously, have regular eye checks. An eye specialist can pick up early signs of developing problems. If not detected and treated, many of these problems may lead to permanent eye damage. Conditions like glaucoma, retinal degeneration, and cataracts will respond to early intervention. Hmm. And remember that glaucoma is very prevalent in, 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 in black people, Hispanics, Chinese. So that's step one, regular eye checks, right? Step two, stab out your cigarette and not your vision. Smoking, you know how to stab, right? When, they, when, when a person smokes, right? And, they, and the cigarette is not finished, right? They stab it, right? So they say, stab, don't. Stab out your eyes, stab out the smoking. Um, smoking damages all the blood vessels and the tiny fragile vessels in the retina are easily, are very easily damaged. Smoking also increases oxidative stress. Smoking increases oxidative stress. And, and again, the retina at the back of the eye is very easily affected. Now I'm gonna come back to you guys. Do we know what is oxidative stress, my leaders? Good evening, Cozy. Do we know what is oxidative stress, my leaders? Smoking increases oxidative stress. So do we know what is oxidative stress? Yes, 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 or no, no, no. Remember, I like an attentive class, right? Okay. Any, anyone else? Do we know what is oxidative stress? Remember, we're talking about the 10 things that you can do. And the second one is talking about smoking. That smoking increases oxidative stress. Okay. So um, oxidative stress is an imbalance between the, the production of free radicals. All right. <laughs> Obviously, Lida, I, you, I know that you know these things. So oxidative stress is an imbalance between the production of free radicals and the body's ability to counteract or detoxify their harmful effects through neutralization by antioxidants. So that is oxidative stress. All right. So there's more free radicals than antioxidants, basically, if, if I want to be simple, simple. So smoking increases um, the free radicals that damage us uh, from within, from a cellular level. All right. And this oxidative stress is actually in quite a few of my notes. Uh, all right. So that's number two, stab out your cigarette and not your vision. The first one was have regular eye checks. All right. So do your checkups. The third one. <laughs> Get more than seven hours sleep a night. Okay, I'm guilty. During deep sleep, the inner discs of the pho uh, photoreceptors in the retina are rejuvenated. Short-term memories are converted to long-term memories 
and the brain does a deep cleansing of itself to get rid of waste products. So sleeping is very healthy for your eyes. Did you also know that deep sleep promotes uh, weight loss? Not just any kind of sleep, deep sleep, quality sleep. Quality sleep <laughs> is good for your eyes, but it's also good for your weight. All right. So yeah, get more than seven hours sleep at night as the inner disc of the photoreceptors in the retina are rejuvenated and then short-term memories are converted to long-term memories and the brain does a deep cleansing of itself to get rid of waste products. That's the third one. The fourth one, uh, control blood pressure, cholesterol, tummy fat, and blood glucose levels. Hey, that's a lot, guys, ne? So we control blood pressure, cholesterol, umkaba, tummy fat, and blood glucose levels. So blood sugar. So one of the biggest problems in South Africa today is the alarming increase in the number of people developing obesity and diabetes. The International Diabetes Federation estimates that 12.8% of our population has diabetes. Do we have uh, 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 our calculators, my great leaders? Do we have uh, calculators? I actually forgot to ask you to have your calculators, but your phones, your phones are calculators. Your phones are calculators. So let's check. Uh, population of South Africa, population, right? Population, there I go type in Fanagalo. Population of South Africa. Remember, we need to find out what is that? 12.8%. We are currently, well, as of 2019, okay, not even 2020, we were 58.56 million. So let's just say 59 million, right? So what is 12.8%? Because now obviously it's we, yeah. What is 12 point, what is, yeah, 59 million. What is 12.8% of 59 million? Let's go to our phones. We go calculator and we go 59 million times 12.8%. <laughs> oh my goodness. What number did you get? <laughs> I got just over 7.5 million. I need to give you this, these stats so that uh, it gives you a better perception of how, how big this problem is. So the International Diabetes Federation estimates that 12.8% of our population has diabetes. So 7.552 million people, and that's an estimation, have diabetes. This means that a staggering 4 million people are at risk for cardiovascular disease, limb amputation, and blindness. Oh, my goodness. Of these, 20% already have retinal damage at diagnosis and are only aware of vision loss when it is too late. Often the last sign of trouble, all right, the last sign of trouble is a raised blood glucose level. The earliest sign of problems is, a, uh, is tummy fat, and anyone who has a waist measurement larger than the hips must take immediate steps to reverse this. Okay, thank God I'm not there. <laughs> so the earliest sign of problem is tummy fat, and anyone who has a waist measurement larger than their hips should take immediate steps to reverse this. Are we together, leaders? Uh, thank you so much, Lida New. I hope I'm saying it right. <laughs> thank you, Lida Jen. You said love the sleep issue, not sleeping enough. Yes, it's, it's, it's very healthy for your eyes. It's also very healthy for your weight. Together. All right. Thank you, Unalena. Thank you very much. So that was the fourth one. All right. So the step four is control blood pressure, control your cholesterol, tummy fat and blood glucose levels, all right? So step four has four things in it, all right? The first one, exercise regularly. 
Regular exercise is essential for blood flow, right? A healthy circulation. The more you exercise, the better the blood flows in the body. Insulin that moves the glucose from the blood vessels to the muscles depends on exercise. Better exercise means better use of glucose in the body and less risk of insulin buildup that causes damage to nerves, blood vessels, and your eyes. Do you see? We need to exercise whether we like it or not. That's step five. You exercise regularly. Step six, eat a healthy, colorful diet. So seven colors. <laughs> Our favorite South African brown and white diet can cause damage to the blood vessels. Guys, when you say brown and white, I tell you we're talking about <laughs> the kotas, you know, kamban. We need a colorful diet rich in vitamins and antioxidants that can neutralize the potential damage from too much red meat and refined carbs, carbohydrates, right? Green leafy vegetables such as your spinach, your kale, and herbs. Oh, I love that part. Herbs contain antioxid antioxidants that are particularly beneficial to the eyes. Avoid dangerous fats such as saturated or trans fats. So always look at what you're buying. Healthy fats are found in olives, olive oil, fish, avocado, nuts, or canola oil. Avoid overheating fat when cooking. Fats and oils that have changed color are dangerous. This is on the website, the Retina SA website. It's not me. So the sixth one is a healthy, colorful diet. The seventh one, remember there's 10 steps, right? The seventh one, protect your eyes against sunlight and excessive screen time. Although some sunlight is essential for vitamin D, which is needed by every cell in our body, overexposure causes skin and retinal damage. Blue light that is emitted from TV, computers, devices, yeah, devices can also damage can also damage the eyes. Wear a hat and protective lenses when out in the sun and limit screen time, especially for children. All right, look away from the screen every 20 minutes to a distance of 20 meters for at least 20 seconds and then blink 20 times. This changes your focus and lubricates the eyes. So now you understand why we have the long reach H choice glasses. They talk about the blue light. So step seven, protect your eyes against sunlight and excessive screen time. Step eight, control your stress levels. That is step eight. Uncontrolled stress has a major effect on the body, affecting blood pressure, sleep, so you have insomnia, and even your gut microbiome, so your gut health. All of these can affect your vision. Who would have known? Your gut health can affect your vision. Mm? A lack of sleep can affect your vision. Blood pressure can affect your vision. But I think most of us know about the blood pressure. I think so. So that's step eight, controlling your stress levels. Step nine, have a healthy social life. We know that COVID and social distancing is making this uh, very difficult. For older people, to discuss any health problems including vision problems with your friends and family. Reach out to people. Do not isolate yourself. Step 10. Only believe information from reputable websites. Dr. Google is not always right. <laughs> Ignore fake news on social media about any health matters. Right? COVID vaccines do not harm your vision, but COVID-19 may harm your vision. Ladies and gentlemen, those are the 10 steps. Let's recap. Are we together, my leaders? Let me check, uh, let me check all of you before we recap. Are we together? Come on, come on, it's Monday. We need to be pumped up. Are we together, my leaders? And are we learning? <laughs> Zippo, what do you like? I wonder. I didn't, I wasn't, I was on another screen, so I didn't see when your uh, comment came. Yeah, computers, computers and, and devices. Too much, too much of this. Not good for you. Too much of this. Too much of, yeah, blue lights. 
Okay, so we're together. So let me just do a recap quickly for you, right? So the 10 things that you have to do, right? Uh, 10 easy steps that people can take to preserve their precious sight. Number one is have regular eye check. Number two, stub out your cigarette and not your vision. So leave smoking because smoking damages all the blood vessels. Yes, it's written. All the blood vessels and the tiny fragile vessels in the retina are very, very easily damaged. And moreover, smoking also increases oxidative stress. So there will be more free radicals than antioxidants in your system because of the smoking. The third one, get more than seven hours sleep a night. Because when you sleep, uh, deep sleep, specifically deep sleep, the inner disc of the photoreceptors in the retina are what? They are rejuvenated. Uh, and then the short-term memories are converted to long-term memories. And the brain does a, a, um, what was called a deep cleansing of itself. The brain does a deep cleansing of itself to get rid of waste products. So the eyes is directly connected with the brain as well. The fourth one, this one is the four in four, right? You control your blood pressure, control cholesterol, control tummy fat, especially if it's what? If it's bigger than your, uh, your, your hips, and control your blood glucose levels. That's step four, which is four in four. Step five is what? Exercise regularly, as it's essential for blood flow. And the more you exercise, the better blood flows in the body. And insulin that moves the glucose from the blood vessels to the muscles depends on what? Exercise. Step six, eat a healthy, colorful diet. So the cruciferous uh, vegetables, they are our spinach, our kale, and the herbs, they as they contain what? Antioxidants that are particularly beneficial to the eyes. That's step six. Step seven is? Protect your eyes against sunlight and excessive screen time, right? Too much laptoping, uh, too much chatting and whatnot, uh, because now we run an uh, online business, so it really means that all of us need to get the, the long reach age choice sunglasses. And remember I said what? Look away from, the, from your screen every 20 minutes to a distance of about 20 meters uh, for at least 20 seconds and then blink 20 times. This changes your focus and lubricates your eyes. Lubrication is very important for the eyes. The eighth one, control your stress levels. As what? Uncontrolled stress has a major effect on the body, affecting blood pressure, sleep, and even your gut microbiome. All of these can affect your vision. So yeah, control your stress levels is very, it's very important for your gut health as well. And remember, gut health is also what? linked with uh, the production of serotonin, which is what? The feel-good hormone, which is what? It minimizes uh, stress levels, your depression levels, or helps you deal with stress, depression, you know, mental disorders. The ninth is what? Have a healthy social life. You need to, um, we know that COVID and social distancing is making this difficult, but for older people, discuss any health problems, including vision problems with your friends, and family and please do not isolate yourself and then the last one is only believe information from reputable websites are we together <laughs> we are good ne? okay we are together we are together we are together i see you leaders now my leaders before i get into the product um i would like to get into this one just for about five minutes or so on glaucoma because glaucoma is whoo, it's so prevalent in africa all right um though glaucoma was observed in march um i'm just going to revisit this because we're talking about what eye health eye management overall eye management all right So what is glaucoma? It is also known as what? The silent thief of sight, glaucoma. Silent thief of sight, 
Um, all right, so glaucoma is a group of eye conditions that can cause blindness. With all types of glaucoma, the nerve connecting the eye to the brain is damaged, usually due to high to high eye pressure. Glaucoma affects the, uh, the optic nerve, which transmits visual messages to the brain. The nutrition to the eye is supplied by a fluid, and in normal eyes, the pressure of this fluid remains balanced. But with age, with disease, with trauma, or other factors, the channels carrying the fluid get blocked, increasing the pressure inside the eye. The most common type of glaucoma is called open angle glaucoma, often has no symptoms other than slow vision loss. Angle closure glaucoma, although rare, is a medical emergency and its, and its symptoms include eye pain with nausea and sudden visual disturbance. Yeah, you know what, glaucoma, that we need to really be, 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 be safe. So the types of uh, uh, glaucoma, you've got your primary open angle or chronic glaucoma. This is the most common form of disease. Damage to the vision in this type of glaucoma is gradual and generally painless. And then you've got closed angle or acute glaucoma. In this type of glaucoma, the intraocular pressure increases very rapidly due to a sudden and severe block of fluid drainage within the eye. Significant symptoms indicate, um, indicating the presence of acute glaucoma appear immediately. This condition has to be treated quickly by an ophthalmologist, otherwise blindness may occur. Glaucoma is one of the leading causes of blindness. It is common in adults over the age of 35. When diagnosed early, blindness from glaucoma is almost immediately preventable. It is a disease that afflicts over 60 million people across the world. 60 million, 60, 60 million people across the globe. And worse, more, more than half of them do not even realize it, do not even realize it until it's too late. Rightly called the silent vision stealer. Glaucoma creep, creeps up on unsuspecting victims, and by the time it is detected, it is often too late to save the vision. I hope we're together, my leaders. So, um, other types are called uh, congenital, congenital glaucoma and secondary glaucoma, all right, that also affects people. Common symptoms of chronic glaucoma. So, glaucoma in its early stages generally does not show any noticeable symptoms. Chronic glaucoma progress progresses too slowly to get noticed. It can take you even up to 10 to 15 years for you to realize that you, yeah, the vision is going. All right, um, here are some of the common symptoms of chronic glaucoma. Remember, it creeps up on you, so it takes years. Inability to adjust the eyes to darkened rooms, such as theaters. So when you go to the movies, man, you're, your eye becomes your eyes become disturbed disturbed frequent changes in eyeglass prescription so you change your eyeglasses every now and then gradual loss of peripheral vision uh peripheral vision is like your side eye right i'm looking at you but i can see exactly what's there even though i'm looking at you i can see exactly what's this side and this side that's peripheral vision so it's gradual loss of your side vision, basically. And then blurred vision, and then headaches, and poor night vision. You heard people that say, I can't drive at night. Mm -hmm. In the case of acute glaucoma, resulting from the rapid increase in the intraocular pressure, there could be severe symptoms. These symptoms could include feeling of a blind area in the field of vision. So some way, when you're looking, there's a there's a patch that you can't see, all right? Seeing rainbow-colored halos are, are around light, all right? The third one, 
severe eye pain or facial pain. The first one is a red eye. So out of the blue, G, you get a red eye. The first, cloudy vision with halos around light. And the last one, nausea and vomiting. These are some of the symptoms of uh, acute glaucoma. So regular eye checkups can help catch glaucoma at a very early stage, reducing the chances of vision loss. So everyone who is in the high risk group should get themselves tested. People with a family history are at highest risk and should get an annual test done. Annual, every year, irrespective of their age, irrespective of how old you are. If you, are, if you fall in the uh, highest risk group, you need to uh, do annual checkup of your eyes. Others who fall in this, in this category are diabetics. So if you have sugar diabetes, uh, if you have a hypertension, hypertensive patients, thyroid patients, and those with a high plus or minus power. All right? So which are the high-risk groups? Family history of glaucoma, history of diabetes, people having high minus or plus numbered glasses, so your vision, né? high numbers. Age above 40 years, people suffering from hypertension, anybody who has undergone any kind of eye surgery, uh, people with thyroid gland related ailments, someone with over mature cataracts. I hope you all know what's cataracts, right? On your eye. People with an injury to the eye. Uh, and then people with a history of prolonged use of steroid eye drops. And then lastly, being black, Asian, or Hispanic. Those are high risk groups. So we need to go check out check ourselves, leaders. <laughs> uh, points to remember is that there is no prevention. However, this eye condition is treatable. There is no prevention of glaucoma. However, this condition is treatable. Sometimes the symptoms of glaucoma are simply not noticeable. Remember, uh, the other ones is what? They are gradual. Timely detection of the disease is a must if you don't want to go blind. And then timely treatment may prevent further loss of vision and blindness. Hmm. All right, then I spoke about stress. Stress is also, yeah, continuous stress and elevated cortisol levels negatively impact the eye and brain due to autonomous nervous system, uh, imbalance and vascular dysregulation. And there's just so much to, yeah, to talk about. So my leaders, I'm going to leave it there. It's half past seven. Welcome, leader Jeremiah. Yes, 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 we're taking notes. So my leaders, what do you think? Oh, Lila Malingisa, welcome. <laughs> what, uh, what, okay, uh, Coach Z has already given out the berry oil, so let's not talk about the berry oil for now. Uh, what products do you think uh, you would give for eye management? And I need at least five of you to, let's see. And it was a giveaway on the 10 steps that I did. There, there were giveaways actually on those 10 steps. There were giveaways. Remember, we need to what? Manage our cholesterol, our blood sugar levels, our, um, our blood pressure. There's your answers. So which products, which products, which products do you think for your day-to-day -day eye management? Elka and Pike Up. Thank you, Leader Ellen. Yes, uh, alkaline pack up. One of the things is that it also has, um, it's jam packed with antioxidants. It also um, helps to regulate your glucose levels, your blood sugars, your blood pressure as well. All right, so the alkaline pack up number one, it also promotes what? A healthy, very healthy circulation. All right. And it gets rid of bad fat. Yeah, the cholesterol. Right? So the alkaline pack-up, number one. Yes, leadership, brown tea, definitely, definitely. Our beloved brown tea, it's got, it's also jam-packed with the antioxidants. 
what else with the brown tea it's also very good for general eye maintenance the brown tea you'll feel it especially when you have flu symptoms cherry eyes itchy eyes you will really feel the power of the brown tea and the brown tea also remember it's a tummy reduction tea remember what i said of the 10 steps on the four the four in four they said what you need to watch your your waist circumference your tummy and tummy fat so this is also good for that it also regulates your 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 blood sugar levels it also regulates your blood pressure so number one good for the eyes <laughs> the green tea as well right same thing exactly the same as the brown tea so we are spoiled we've got products for days let me just fix up here so the alkaline pack up the brown tea the green tea coach said the berry oil rightfully so the berry oil is jam packed yes we go back to uh, the the veggies in here you know the fruits and veggies in here remember it is um yeah the berries the berries are very good for health so the berry oil is very good for eye management it's also good for what regulating your 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 glucose levels your blood sugars also regulating what your blood pressure so excellent 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 antioxidants jam-packed jam-packed all right so what else did we speak about we spoke about the weight the cholesterol what other products my leaders we said brown tea we said the pie cup uh we said the berry oil does somebody else have something else <laughs> class is in session it just got hectic <laughs> the other product <laughs> for regulating your blood sugar your blood pressure cordyceps coffee so naturally even the cordyceps military supplement as well which yeah i forgot <laughs> in my office <laughs> so also very good for the eyes remember it, it's jam-packed with a lot of vitamins right um so i can go i can talk about uh, our coffee for days actually actually yeah so our cordyceps coffee is also good for the blood sugar the blood pressure also good for the eye management part it's also good for gut health and it's a natural antibiotic right so whatever is not right there in your system it will get rid of it we are together right leaders why are we not mentioning the number one product that i've been speaking about the last few weeks hello hello remember our sanitary wear all of them because of the n iron strip remember it's got n iron it's what uh, uh, uh vitamins of life so it's vit it gives your body vitamins right it helps protect your body from diseases right it, it promotes a healthy circulation whether you put it on your underwear or you put it under your feet or anywhere on you it will help you remember it's got n iron it guards your body from diseases. Are we together? <laughs> so, excellent, excellent for eye management. Remember, what causes the problems with the eyes? It's what? Your hypertension, glucose levels. So, we need to uh, target those so that our eye is healthy. You understand the, the, the signs behind what i'm teaching <laughs> so we need to go for the root the root cause we don't look for superficial only you know yeah and the other thing was remember was our alkaline pack up you can put the drops in your eyes remember remember i even did a demonstration a few weeks ago you put a few drops two drops two drops and you'll be refreshed right welcome you maurice 
Okay. Hello. Thank you, Leader John. Our concept military is black ginger drink, the vitamin drink, also known as the energy drink. Remember, they are on special. Remember they're on special? Very well is what? Buy one, get one free. And this one, I don't remember. You buy something and you get it. I remember it's the first line. I forgot what it is, though. Remember, guys, we, we've got great products. The vitamin drink also does. It regulates blood sugar levels, regulates blood pressure. It's also good for stress. Remember, we also need to manage the stress levels. Remember, it was one of the 10. Remember this also. Yeah, buy four SODs. Yeah, ah, trust, trust our chief of staff. <laughs> I didn't even know that you're here leadership. So this deals with stress as well. It helps you uh, deal with stress. It it uh, um it helps the endocrine uh your endocrine system to function. Remember now you understand why I'm always going back. Remember what does the endocrine system do? It also regulates your um the sleeping hormone, how you sleep. And remember, sleep is healthy for the eyes, the eyes and the brain. I hope we are together. So stress. These are anti-stress, even our teeth, even the alkaline pike up, good for stress, minimizing stress, even the berry oil, good for stress and depression. We are together, right? Okay. The main queen as well, the uh, beauty dreamy capsules, and the main supplement. This one is for women, right? I hope you can see, right? Yeah, I hope you can see. This is the dreamy beauty capsule, formerly known as main queen, or main chain, and then the male supplement, the Lebao or powerful snake powder capsules. Those are also very good for regulating your, your blood pressure and your glucose levels, even stress. So we have products for days, my leaders. Very good for stress. I thought I'll see one leader say another product, you know. My leaders, I mean, you are here every week. Come on. This the the products that are left. So obviously, because I mean the codices of militaries, this one, black ginger for men. The black ginger for men. This one is specifically for men, right? Codices militaries, black ginger for men. This one is also very good in regulating your blood sugar, your blood pressure, and stress. Very good also for ED, right? <laughs> but green tea as well. Very well as well. This as well. We spent for days with our product. My leaders, please surprise me. I need a leader that's going to, I mean, ah, guys, I did a, a special video this morning. What video did I do this morning? That product as well is very good for the eyes. Remember I said it has what? Um, twice uh, twice as much of vitamin A. Vitamin A is good for what? The eyes. I am disappointed, I must be honest, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> our nutri v rich Blue Shake. Our Blue Shake makes up hot, my fit. Our Blue Shake, I'm left with a few. Our Blue Shake, very good for eye management. It's got vitamin, uh, it's got two times vitamin A, and it's got more iron than spinach. What, 15 times more iron than spinach? It's got 40 fruits and vegetables. Remember, they said we need to eat what? Uh, a, a healthy, well-balanced diet. There must be vegetables there. So here's your supplement. Here's a supplement for the eyes. Also for the sugar diabetes, for the hypertensive uh, patients. I can go on and on and on and on and on and on. And remember, it's got Moringa. So if someone comes to you and say, you know, I I trust Moringa, you tell them. Longridge also has uh, uh, products with Moringa in them. It's the Nichiri, the, the Blue Shake. It's got Moringa. We are together, ne? I hope we are. Are we together, leaders? Hello? I'm moving on to the last product. My leaders, are we learning? Oh, sorry, Dita John. You need you need to. Why don't you have it in Zambia? You must ask ask the MD. 
you must ask the MC that you need this. This is a lifesaver. It also is it's rich in zinc. It's rich in zinc. It's rich. It's, it's got more calcium than milk <laughs> because of the moringa. It's got more calcium than the milk. It's got more vitamin A than carrots. It's got more iron than spinach. Ow. Oh. What more do we need? What more do we want? Thank you, Lida Jane. Hello, Lida Tito. Oh, Lida Mognix. I don't know if I'm saying it right. I, I didn't see you come in. So my leaders, the Nutri-V, the Shake, Nutri-V Blue Shake, the last product, the last product that's very good for sugar diabetics, um, that's very good for glaucoma as well, our Athrosap. Hello. Are we together? <laughs> our Athrosap. It's got glucosamine, all right? It's got glucosamine, which is very good for uh, glaucoma. It's got glycoproteins, which is very good for type 2 diabetes patients. Lida, and remember, I'm a distributor like you. I don't work for language. I am a distributor. I think <laughs> a lot of leaders think I work for language. No, my leaders, I am a distributor, just like all of you here. <laughs> I don't know. So ask the MD in, in Nigeria why there's no NutriV. Ask Pelelanga. <laughs> oh, it's Mr. Ask Pelelanga. <laughs> so the other stuff. Um, remember what I also said on the 10 points about vitamin D, that vitamin D, our cells, um, vitamin D is needed by every cell in our bodies, but overexposure causes skin and retinal damage. All right. Our athrosap is jam-packed with vitamin D, vitamin D. Okay, my leaders. Uh, Lida Maurice, do we have Nutri-V? Where are you, Lida Maurice? We, ha we have it in South Africa. I'm not sure where you are, my Lida. So, and then uh, I spoke also about um, healthy oils. Um, uh, what did I speak about? About olives, you know, olive oil. Oh, my goodness. Now it's summer. Now I'll be seeing things. The other products that you can use, is our snake oil product. Our snake oil, the, the serum, the snake oil gel. Very good. Remember, your skin is porous. Another word is permeable. So whatever you put on your skin, remember, it goes in your skin, goes into your bloodstream, and then whatever product you put there, it goes, it travels to your organs. That's why it's very important. You don't just use any product, guys. Yes, Lida Jeremiah, Astrosap is very good for diabetes mellitus. Yes. Yes, it is. <laughs> These are the things that we need to discuss. This is why the show is here. Because, you know, when we, when we talk about our products, you'll be saying Astrosap, we'll be talking about, you know, arthritis, you know, uh, or bone health, you know. But th this product, this is actually my, the favorite product, supplement in language. Oh my, yeah, because I know what it does. <laughs> it's also anti-aging, but I did mention this four weeks ago, five weeks ago. It's also anti-aging. It's got green tea in it. It's got um, uh, hyaluronic acid, which is a very good anti-aging uh, ingredient. So with the Athrosap, you are, you are looking, uh, you are regulating your, your blood sugars. You are, the vitamin D is jam-packing your cells. Um, it's anti-aging, you know, it's got green tea, so it's also good for stress and depression. Athrosap is also excellent for PMS, but I've mentioned this as well in the previous <laughs> programs. Athrosap is also good for PMS. Remember, it's also got the green tea. Athrosap is also good for cancer patients. And so is this. Very good for cancer patients. Um, the ginger root, it, it helps them with the nausea and the vomiting. All right. And then with this, the video that I did this morning, I said that uh, it helps the chemo work 
better as well. Okay, so we do have cancer patients. We do have, I know of a cancer patient who is, you know, not comfortable to do her, to give me permission uh, to uh, upload her testimony on our testimony page. Remember, we also have the testimony page. She buys the, uh, this, the Nutri Blue Shake in bulk. She says, wow, uh, her cancer is really now manageable, you know? So it helps them with the, uh, the body too, with the chemo. All right, we need to look after ourselves. All right, my leaders? So are we good? Are there any questions? It's 10 to 8. Are we good? Are we good? Are we good? Thank you, Leader Jeremiah. Please share with, 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 uh, with your team, my leader, because there's just so much to our products that we do not talk about. There is a lot to our products uh, that we do not, we really do not talk about. All right. Mm -hmm. Are there any questions, my leaders? The floor is now yours. <clears throat> I'm still training. <laughs> yeah, my leaders, come on, come on, come on, come on. Are there any questions? Is there anywhere where you are not here? Please feel free to ask questions. This is the correct platform to ask the questions. I get it, this is training. This is the health hub where we talk about everything related to health. So we need to discuss. Come on, my leaders. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Remember the berry oil is also good for, it protects your eyes from pollution. And pollution is filled with what? Free radicals. Remember it's good for, it protects your eyes from pollution. So each and every one of us needs to be taking the berry oil, the teas. Leader N. Uh, this question is asked, I think, the third time. <laughs> <laughs> in the show. Fibroid, Nutri V, the pink, this one's cousin. But the, the pink one, the alkaline pie cup, uh, the our sanitary wear, and cordyceps military supplements. Cordyceps military supplements. Lida Suzy Wale Tebele. It is uh, I think it's 500, 600 with 12 PVs. Five, 600 with 12 PVs, my dear. My client was just being diagnosed. Diagnosed with what, my dear? What is the combo for prostate cancer? Ah! My leader. Uh, prostate cancer that kills our beloved brothers that don't want to do the daily checkups, right? What is another product for stroke apart from the shoes? Afrosup is good for stroke. Uh, I'll, I'll come to you, my leader, uh, with a prostate cancer. Afrosup, berry oil, good for stroke. Cordyceps coffee, very good for stroke. They get their feelings back, all right? Also, calcium is one of uh, the things that you can uh, uh, recommend for stroke, okay? Uh, the, the prostate is a cordyceps military supplement. Uh, it's the alkaline pie cup. It is our panty liner. Remember I spoke about circulation? Remember I spoke about circulation? So very good for prostate. All right. Remember I also said athrosap. So athrosap, alkaline pie cup, and right and add the green or the brown tea for the prostate uh a mother of a 13 year old just called saying that she drank thinners what can we suggest leader i know it's a different topic no don't worry it's still within thank god I, <laughs> uh chemicals are my thing remember i'm a mechanical engineer uh the child needs to drink a lot of milk leadership milk the child needs to drink a lot of milk and then you can add with the alkaline pie cup. The milk will um, will try to mitigate the effects of the thinners. All right. Oh, thank God for background, background health. <laughs> yeah, Lida Angela, are you okay, my leader? 
product for stroke. Remember, I said that cordyceps coffee. Very good, even for epileptic patients, diabetic as well. Uh, our berry oil, Athrosap, and our uh, 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 uh. yeah, even even the the paint liners will help, man. It will help. Okay, you are good. You okay? All right. Thank God, my leader. Okay, thank God. Are there any more questions, my leaders? We've got a few minutes left. Any questions? Did the Ellen you are covered? I get the child must drink a lot of milk. And did the N I also answered you on the fibroids? I'm just going back. Okay. All right, my leaders, are we good with the eye management that we need to uh 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 change to a healthy diet so uh supplementing with our shakes with our teas with our coffees that's a good start exercising is one of them as well it's a good start for eye management uh and exercising and stop smoking did you know well but i've said this before but i don't know if you really <laughs> smoking also uh affects circulation it affects the circulation and remember the eyes need what circulation that's why we need to exercise to get the fluid running remember what do we need to give to a child that is epileptic how old is the child my leader my leaders now when you ask me questions i need the full details you saw how how leader ellen wrote his story apologies a mother of a 13 year old listen when you say child i'll need to know the age <laughs> Lida Ellen is also a product specialist in training. I have a product specialist academy, remember? For those who don't know, <laughs> 12 years are perfect age. Uh, Cordyceps, military, coffee leadership. A lot of our epileptic uh, patients or distributors use this and they say they have less episodes because of the coffee. That's why our coffee is always out of stock. They buy in bulk. Well, we're busy buying two, three coffees. No, they buy boxes and boxes and boxes. You know? So the Cordyceps coffee is very good. Very good for epileptic. Even the alkaline pie cup as well. Okay, my leader? The alkaline pie cup as well. Very good for epileptic patients. Are we done with the questions, my leaders? It's almost 8 o'clock. Can I call it a night? <laughs> I'll take one more question if there is any. We'll take one more question if there's any. Asma, my uh, leader, and Dadas Pelelanga, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. This also helps with asthma and sinuses. Okay. Even our teas, they help. Our tea, I, I, I have a few testimonies on the brown tea helping with, uh, with a sinuses. Okay, so this is very good for sinuses. And the mouth freshener. The mouth freshener is very good for sinuses. Those are what's called, your, your asthma and your, your sinuses, they're called acute respiratory infections. I have touched it on this. Yeah? Thank you, Onalina. Thank you, my baby. So I have touched on this. I said acute respiratory infections. <laughs> Thank you, Lida Jane. They start from, it's from above your throat, you know? So it would be your, your sinuses, you know, your blocked nose, you know? And then the second one, uh, it is from your throat down. So that would be uh, like your tonsils, uh, your, um, call your flus, your pneumonia. So acute respiratory infections is quite a broad as it, they say it's into its upper and lower. So the mouth freshener, definitely the green tea, the brown tea, alkaline pack cup, uh, our blue shake as well. Lida Jane, you must also subscribe to my YouTube channel. Everybody who's here must actually subscribe to that channel because <laughs> it's so educative. But you, Lida, you don't want to, 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 
Watch me train you. <laughs> I don't know. My readers, it is 8 o'clock. Leader Tozama, is there anything for a person who snores that can help reduce snoring? Hi, my leader. Try the product and come back to us. <laughs> There's someone who said um, the mouth freshener. She doesn't snore that much. Uh, yeah, her partner does it, was was uh, shocked uh, to find out that no, how Mutwaka doesn't snore anymore as much. What's happening? And when they found what changed was that she used the, she was using the mouth freshener. So hopefully it will also help you as well or whoever you're asking for. Thank you so much, my leaders. It's now after eight. Let me love and leave you. We will come back uh, next week, Monday. Next week, we are talking about the heart. So everyone has a heart. So everyone has to be here once again. <laughs> so we'll talk next week, Monday, on the heart, OK? Yes, Lida Tozama, please, my darling, please. <laughs> please, my leaders, I've got the YouTube channel, right? It's there for all of you. We've got the language testimony page on Facebook. It's there for everyone. Please feel free to share your testimonies. You can inbox me on Facebook or on my number, my private number that I always share, uh, 073-582-6733 or plus 2773-582-6733. Thank you so much, my great leaders. It's really an honor to be training all of you. Please look after yourselves and remember your health is your wealth. See you next week. Bye.